What's up guys, how's it going? It's Matt here on the 4th of July, a beautiful backyard, all right? And I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that actually correlates with the last video I did. This topic is about open carry, but this isn't just your average open carry. This is open carry activists versus open carry jackassivics. How, how's that sound? Here it is. Alright guys, so once again, happy 4th of July. Today, July 4th, 1776, is when our country signed the Declaration of Independence. Our founding fathers signed the Declaration of Independence and we won our freedom. And we became the um, United States of America. Those fireworks that you see, that you'll probably be hearing in the background here, they aren't just pretty light shows that are in the sky. They actually represent the gunfire and the cannonballs, the bombs bursting in air which helped win our freedom. All right, now, let's get into this video, guys. So, you know, I know this is kind of a touchy topic for a lot of different firearms people, you know, but, you know, I'll start it out just like I said, you can watch my video prior to this. I said the same exact thing. All right, I am all for open carry. I'm all for concealed carry. I recommend concealed carry, but I don't, I'm not against either or. The only thing I am against when it comes to carrying a firearm is open carry jackasses all right that is what i'm against open carry jackasses all right so what are open carry jackasses all right there are lots of people that open carry like i said for years i open carry because that was a state law you know i could open carry all i wanted i didn't need to get a permit or anything like that sorry i thought i heard something i got bears down here <laughs> but then i'll give you a warning i'm gonna be itching a lot because i'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes <laughs> but anyway i digress there but you know i carried open carry for several years guys and I was uncomfortable with it I just didn't like doing it because people's eyes are drawn to you and whatnot you know I covered that all in my last video so let's let's move on with from there but what bothers me the most about open carry are the people that consider themselves open carry activists when truthfully all they really are are open carry jackassivists all right they'll call it that how's that <laughs> all right not even a word but I don't care sounds good all right now, what I mean by that, guys, is there are people that want to make a scene, all right? You know, if you guys watch my video, Warrior Mindset versus Vigilanteism, you know, you'll learn, you'll see where I'm coming from when I call this. If you look for trouble, you're going to find trouble. Now, these, these open carry people, they specifically put their firearms on in places where they know people are going to be anti-gun or people are not going to like them. They, they put them on in places that they know people are going to call the police department on them. And that's what they want, okay? They want to be a jackass. They want to make a scene. If you look at some of the titles of videos, open carry experts schools cops or open carry experts calls out the cops or open carry experts gets arrested by the cops and you see this all the time you just look it up on YouTube or Facebook and it's, it's 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 pretty bad guys it is ridiculous now if you want to be an activist okay you know I'm gonna make it simple all right if you want to be an activist you need to do a few things one join the NRA all right you may not necessarily agree with every single thing the NRA says but one thing's for certain the NRA by far is a leading voice when it comes to firearms rights, all right? They are the leading voice for gun owners, all right? Step two, join your local state groups, state town groups, like me in the state of Connecticut, I'm a member of the CCDL, Citizens of Connecticut Defense League. It's a group of people that they keep you updated about legislative actions that are taking place in the state. They give you protest dates where you can go to the town hall and do peaceful protests. And at the same time, they hold like barbecues every year open carry barbecues, you know, where people, where they basically are designed to bring people to carry their firearms, open concealed, whatever you want to do, and educate the public. Not in a insane, you know, pissed off jackass way, but 
in a barbecue. Hey, we like a burger just as much as you. You know, showing people that people like me, the guys that like to carry guns, aren't assholes like they think we are. We aren't freaking psychotic right wing nut jobs, all right? Who we are is just average everyday people with kids, with families. We like our hamburgers, we like our hot dogs, our ice cream. <laughs> but we're just trying to show the public that look, you know, you know, we're just every average day people, you know, there's, you know, there's nothing to be scared of with us. And what we want to do in these is we invite people to come and visit. We invite law enforcement to come to it. And what we try to do is we try to educate the public. You know, there's some people that are kind of questioning whether or not they want a farm. They go to these part, you know, they go to these groups and they meet the people that are carrying the farms and they realize, hey, this is my neighbor, you know, or whatever. And they realize that these are just a bunch of good people. You know, we're not bad people. We're not assholes. We're not looking for fights. We're not looking for troubles. We just are proud of our Second Amendment rights. We stand for our Second Amendment rights. We pride ourselves in defending ourselves and our families. And we understand the fundamentals of basic defense of person of yourself, family, and country. All right. Everything the Second Amendment stands for. The Second Amendment wasn't created for sporting and hunting and stuff like that. With all the people out there that you know, all the angry people are complaining about the Second Amendment was created. Just look up the Founding Fathers' intentions for personal defense. It's to ensure the God-given right of personal defense for the individual, for an individual's family, for the individual's friends, for other people. For your country, which means protecting it against tyrants that take control or protecting it against foreign invaders that come in. That is what the Second Amendment is about. It is not about all the other crap that you know a lot of people preach and that they, oh, well, this is our interpretation of it. That's it's not an interpretation, that's what it is about. Alright, anyway, I digress and going on about that. But what we do at these barbecues is just that. I mean, that is activism. That is good. That's peaceful, professional, respectful activism. All right. You're inviting different people. People come in like, hey, no, it's open. You don't have to call. You know, it doesn't cost you anything to come in here. You can donate to the CCDL if you want. You can donate to the NRA if you'd like. We're just here to teach you about firearms. We'll have guest speakers coming out and speaking about it. All right. So, and people are introduced to us in a respectful kind way and be like hey you know these people are just average everyday you know citizens or veterans or law enforcement that are all for carrying a firearm whether it's open or concealed and it actually draws more people into the gun culture so that's one big thing as a member of the gun culture which means I wake up every single morning I put my gun on and I take it off when I go to bed I mean I carry my gun all the time it's just it is what it is that's who I am I'm part of the gun culture what we want as members of the gun culture is more people in the gun culture because we know that criminals okay they have less of a chance to cause serious bodily harm or death to someone if they defend themselves or if they have the ability to defend themselves and that's why we carry our firearms to protect ourselves protect others that is why we carry the firearms all right that is in a nutshell activism all right that is what we are about in the gun culture and we want more people into it now to the open carry jackasses out there there's a difference between the, the activists and the jackasses to the open carry jackasses out there. I'm not talking about people that go about their everyday life carrying a firearm, guys. That's it is what it is. That's who we are. You know, they go about their everyday life to carry open. That's just what they like to do. They aren't looking for a fight. They aren't looking for trouble. But the open carry jackass, the ones that go out there looking for trouble, that will find trouble because they are out there causing disruption and they are going to neighborhoods that they don't even live in, wearing full flak jackets with. A rifle or a bolt action rifle and a pistol on their side and knives they go into these neighborhoods that they don't even live in and they start walking around wanting people to come out there and call them out and to call the police on them you guys are not helping the gun culture you guys are freaking psychotic assholes okay what you guys are doing when you do that you are not schooling the public you are giving us a black eye you're giving the gun culture a black eye guys if you want to school the public, do it professionally, do it politely. Most people that are anti-gun or they just don't know a whole lot about guns, when they see someone doing that, you know, to them, it's everyone who owns guns. Every gun owner is like this. They're all assholes like this. They're all here to scare my family, to scare my children. They're all doing this on purpose. That's what they see when they see these people going around 
the neighborhoods into this or the Starbuckses or the places that are so anti-gun that they know the police will be called on them. And then when the police come, they are complete assholes, disrespectful, and they say that they're complying. They're not complying. They're being disrespectful. They're being freaking assholes. And yes, if you get detained because of that, you are not getting detained because you're carrying a firearm. You are getting detained because you are being an asshole to the police officers who are trying to do their job, all right? That is why you're being detained because now you've become a disturbance, all right? Oh, I just really wanted to cover this, guys, because, I mean, it really pisses me the hell off. I mean, it just pisses me the hell off when people go about and do this. You think you are doing a good thing for the gun community, the gun culture, and you are not, guys. You just aren't, okay? You are making us all look like psychos. You're making us all look like angry pieces of shit, disrespectful pieces of shit. You know, that's not who we are. That's 90% 90, 90 of gun owners are not like that. There's always a 10% of every type of situation you think of. There's always a 10% of the bad apples, 10% of bad police, 10 you know, you, you catch a drift. There's always a 10% that's bad. And these 10% that are going out there looking for trouble specifically so they can go online to YouTube or Facebook or whatever it is and school the police and to troll the police. Guys, you deserve to get your freaking asses detained, all right? You are being an asshole. You are taking a law enforcement officer whose specific job is to protect the public and arrest the bad guys and keep prevent bad things from happening to people. You are taking them off of their job. You are bringing them to you just so you can speak your mind just so you can be an asshole to them and get caught on camera doing it hoping some of you actually do it to hope that you get detained so you can go and sue them or hope that you get detained so you can make a big deal about it and then post it online and get like a, a million views on it that is not okay guys it, um, you know I've said it several times in this video it is not okay what you are doing by doing this guys is you are making the situation all right more volatile, all right? You're pouring kerosene on a fire, all right? If you truly want to be an activist, you need to stop being a jack activist, all right? You need to be, do these barbecues, do stuff like that. Go out and educate the public in a nice, professional, polite way. We invite public, you invite the police, you pull a permit, whatever it is, you have a barbecue and stuff like that, and you just talk generally about the stuff. You know, don't freaking specifically go to a neighborhood to scare people so they call the police so the police can arrest you so you can be an asshole to the police and get away with it guys that is not what being a gun owner is about all right as a gun owner we are supposed to be the best citizens out there we are supposed to be the polite down-to-earth people that are willing to step in and help other people all right that is who we're supposed to be we are not supposed to be assholes who go out to create a massive scene, scare the public to the point where the police has to come out and arrest you, and then call that activism, because that is not activism, all right? That is assholeism, all right? So stop it, all right? But anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and remember, guys, our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace. Happy Fourth of July.